last improvised lightning talk before we move on to the concluding presentation of today. I give you the word. Okay. Thank you. I'll try to make very quick. Uh, I have a huge uh, karma debt. I uh, imported um, a full country uh, Korean data to OpenStreetMap. Open it was uh, 10 years ago. So uh, last 10 years I've spent uh, removing all this data. But uh, luckily my account is not blocked. So I'm dealing also with uh, contribution to the uh, OpenStreetMap. So what I've done uh, since uh, about the same time is uh, using OpenStreetMap in mobile and trying to make it available in mobile. Uh, I started in uh, Nutitech with J2ME, Symbian, Blackberry, all these different old things um, quite long ago, uh, starting uh, with uh, Google Map styles until uh, Google sent uh, a legal letter to stop it because OpenStreetMap was not good enough then yet. But uh, then the software is available, uh, available uh, as a GPL option, so it is open source. And uh, fast forward to 2012, um, the software was uh, free for OpenStreetMap users, so to make um, kind of give back a little bit to the community. Now, fast forward to this year, um, Nutitech is part of CartoDB, which is now just called Carto. And uh, we use vector tiles from uh, OpenStreetMap quite a lot as for base maps. Uh, something what you have seen uh, by some other tools also. We're using Carto CSS as styling language, and you can use even your own sources. You don't need to use OpenStreetMap if um, uh, that's uh, not enough. Maybe your own uh, private OpenStreetMap server. Also, we do offline routing, um, and um, we provide online and offline OpenStreetMap uh, planets. So that's all kind of bundled. And it works in 2.5D, in 3D, in 2D. Uh, it, and it supports actually quite many languages. We have done a special effort to support uh, Asian languages, uh, Arabic specifically, all these tricky right to left uh, kerning issues. Um, yeah, we, we have tried to solve all of those. But uh, one limitation was that it uh, was it is uh, with commercial license. And now fast forward uh, to the future, uh, 2016, October, we will open source this mobile SDK because there are never enough uh, uh, nice map rendering tools for OpenStreetMap. So let, let's have one, one extra. Of course, we provide also enterprise services on top of that. Um, and you will be able to find it from GitHub, uh, from CartoDB uh, GitHub page. So take a look and um, see as one of the alternatives to the uh, different OpenStreetMap uh, vector tile renderers. Okay, we have time for one quick question if there is any. No questions? 